Hi, this video is to show you how to update product quantity from Unicard to Marketplaces by using Marketplace Inventory Management. Marketplace Inventory Management enables you to check inventory across the different marketplaces and to ensure the Marketplace Inventory are updated with Unicard. At the same time, you can also update and sync inventory to multiple marketplaces effectively from one place without the need to log in to different marketplaces account respectively. Please be reminded that updating product quantity directly into product product list will not update the quantity to marketplaces. This will only update the quantity for the Unicard web store. If you want the latest quantity to be synced to your Shopee or Lazada, then this video is made for you. Please allow me to use this opportunity to explain to you how our marketplace inventory update works. For example, we have 20 quantity over at all the marketplaces and also in Unicard Web Store. In Lazada, we receive one order, making the quantity in the Lazada Seller Center to become 19. The order from Lazada will then be synced into Unicard, and the quantity from Unicard will then be updated to 19. Unicard will then take the latest quantity and sync it over to all the marketplaces, making the quantity for the product tally in all marketplaces. So this is how the Marketplace Inventory Update works in Unicard. To access Marketplace Inventory Management, firstly, go into Marketplaces. Then look for Stock and Price Tools. Click on Marketplace Inventory Management. At this page, you will see all the products showing up on the screen. And the Quantity column shows you the current quantity that you have in your Unicard web store. And now you may have this question in mind. How do I check and update the quantity for my Marketplaces? Scroll to the top of the screen and you will find the Marketplace Channel column. Click into it and select the channels that you have linked to your Unicard. For this demo, I have linked two Shopee and two Lazada into my Unicard, so I will need to choose all four of them. Once done, click on Save and Apply. The selected Marketplace will then be shown at the right part of the screen with the check button under each channel and a sync button for each row of the product and variant. But before we proceed to work on the checking and updating of quantity, let us talk about the filters that you can use. You can filter for the product that you want by filtering for the product name, product SKU or the variant SKU. I want to bring your attention to this filter called Trace Order From. You have the selection of 24, 48 and 72 hours for the filter. By selecting this, it will show you the products that were ordered in the selected time frame. It can make it easier for you to see which products are actively being sold and to monitor the quantity closely. And now, I will show you how to check the current quantity from seller centers and how to update the new quantity over to the marketplaces. You will first need to click on the check button under each of the channel. The system will then read the quantity from the seller center and show it at the columns respectively. If the column returns a hyphen, it means that the product or variant is not available in that channel or haven't synced to that channel yet. However, for parent product, the quantity under the marketplaces should always show a dash as parent SKU is not a sellable product. To sync new quantity to related channels, you can change the quantity at the leftmost column, enter the latest quantity, and the latest quantity will then reflect at the rest of the columns for the variants or the product. For example, I have updated the quantity for this variant, then click on the sync button. Once the sync is complete, you can see the green tick appearing at the corner of the columns. After that, you should click on the check button again to confirm that the latest quantity is updated correctly and received properly by the marketplaces. If it returns the previous quantity, you will need to sync the latest quantity and check again after that. So this is how you update the quantity of the products from Unicard to marketplaces. Thank you for watching the video.